Hello, YouTube family. It's your favorite girl. And I'm back to report the news. Okay, guys. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. So, CJ So Cool just uploaded a video about an hour ago titled, Happy Birthday Party for the Twins. I celebrated alone. So, the video is about 37 minutes long. He started off the video by saying that he knew that he really was not going to see the kids on their birthday because of how everything was happening. He said when they broke up the first time during the summertime, he was still seeing the twins. He said royalty was still dropping the kids off. It was no problem. But then when they broke up the second time, it was just different this time around. So let's go to the comments. Comments are open for a discussion. What do you guys really think happened? Because, like, I'm kind of back and forth with it. Should be able to co-parent with no problems at all. But the thing is CJ and what CJ is gonna have to understand is a lot of stuff has transpired since they broke up during the summertime. Cause he was speaking on when they broke up the first time, you know, it was no problems during the summertime. He said he was seeing the kids. He was spending time with them with no problems at all. But then when this breakup happened, it was just different. And, you know, but CJ had to understand, CJ, you got to realize that that home invasion happened. Now, you did see the twins in December. I remember the video when they came over for Christmas, and I think they came over prior, before Christmas as well. So, I did see two vlogs that got a million views. He got one million views on that vlog when he had the twins, okay? But, um, but yeah. CJ, what you have to understand, a lot has transpired in the last couple of months, okay? You had a home invasion, okay? Someone broke into your house and shot at you, okay? So, of course, she is not going to feel comfortable with sending the twins over there. Which you did mention that that is no longer an excuse. This is what he said. He said, it's no longer an excuse for you to keep trying to use the home invasion as an excuse. Because the workers have came and pretty much fixed up everything that was, you know, a problem. The neighborhood is safe. He said he got cameras everywhere, alarms everywhere. So, he's not even worried. So, that no longer is an excuse to say because of the home invasion. But, CJ, after the home invasion happened, you went on to accuse her. And even uh, try to accuse her kids too. You said it was her and the goddamn kids. So you gotta understand, that shit is hurtful, CJ. I don't know if you really feel that way or you were just trying to hurt her. I, don't, I, I really don't know to this day, I really don't know. But you did a lot and said a lot that has hurt her feelings. So yes, she is hurt. She is hurt and she is healing from everything that you did to her. When I sit back and watch you guys old videos, actually today while I was at work, I was watching y'all video about the one with you brought the private jet and I think you guys all went to, I think it was California. And y'all were just looking so happy. And I'm sitting here thinking like, bitch, you was living the life. That was the life. That was the life. But guys, what y'all have to understand is, you know, even though they did it together, it was CJ, Royalty, and the girls, and the boys. They all played a part in getting those views. What y'all got to understand, Royalty is still getting paid. Do y'all really think her kids on his channel and she's not making revenue from that too? I'm quite sure it's some type of deal. She probably already told CJ as, if you want my kids video to remain on your channel, you are gonna have to pay me. Who think that's what's going on? Go to the comments. Leave a comment down below. Tell me guys, what do y'all think? Because I already know this shit. Rosie is not stupid, okay? Rosie making money y'all, okay? That money is coming in. Every time CJ get paid, Royalty is getting paid too. And it's not because of the child support, it's because of the revenue that she, that CJ is making from everybody who's still clicking those videos and still watching her children. So she's making money, y'all. So CJ gave Lexi a shout out in the video. Apparently she was the one who wrapped up all of the gifts. And he went into details to say that Lexi started off as his friend then his assistant, now his girlfriend, and now the twin stepmother. I don't know if he be trying to shade the situation or what it is, but you know what? I did read in the comments, somebody said that 
Lexi was the reason him and Royce broke up. I don't know how true this is, y'all. I don't know. But somebody put it in the comments. Trust me, just because I don't respond to y'all comments doesn't mean I'm not reading them. I'm reading the comments, y'all. So, in other words, CJ trying to let y'all know for the ones that was hating, talking about he ain't got no money. He was letting y'all know he got the money. Because he already told you about the money in the twins bank account. He already told you that Kamari is set up. And now he's speaking on going out of the country for his birthday. His birthday is coming up. So, he said that he might settle for Miami. But he said he was thinking about booking a trip to go out of the country. Okay, big money. So, guys, I was sitting here thinking, go to the comments. How would you feel if Rosie was to go back to CJ? Rosie love him. And it's not because of the money. I mean, she really loves him. And to see Lexi there and they appearing to be so happy, that shit bothering her. I'm still team royalty, but I'm a woman too. And I'm speaking from a woman perspective. Leave a comment down below. For the people that's team royalty. If, if Rossi wants to go back to CJ, how would you feel about that? Go in the comments. Comments open for discussion. Yeah, CJ love him some Rossi. I don't give a damn. He can't go a, a damn vlog without talking about Rossi. See, that's why I keep telling y'all Lexi is temporary. And I'm just hoping Lexi is not really putting her feel, her all and her feelings into hoping that it's going to be more with him, with her and um, CJ because... CJ care about royalty and, and, it's, and it's not even about the views it's not about all the money they made it's like he genuinely cares for her you know he did some things he made his mistakes it's okay but he was talking about what the situation was he was like the real reason why we broke up was him and Leon was at a restaurant and two white women this is what he said y'all <laughs> two white women wanted to take a picture and one of them was turned to him as if she was kissing him. Rosie saw it, got upset, and left. That that came from CJ's mouth. Okay, okay, guys. So he admitted it. He said that he came home one day and the house was dirty. And he said that he said it out loud that you guys belong in a project. And he said that Jalea turned around from washing dishes and said, "Well, kick us out then." Oh, never mind. You can't kick us out because you need us for views. Oh, wow. Okay, commenters. Y'all know what's up. He said Jaleel was being grown. He was like the one that he spent all of this money on doing all of these things for was being grown. He said Leon, him and Leon had a strong bond. He said Leon would never say that to him. He said Carnation would have laughed, but he said Jaleel. Mm. Now it makes sense on why royalty is doing what she's doing, y'all. She's hurt. She's upset. Understand this shit, y'all. She's upset. She is hurt. And now he's prancing this girl all around everywhere. She don't like that. That's why all of this is happening, y'all. I get the home invasion plays a part too, but that home invasion, home invasion thing is over with. And to pretty much sum his video up, guys, he said that he just... He just wants to move forward. He don't want to live his life, you know, keep explaining what happened in the past. The past is the past. He cannot change what happened in the past. He apologized again. He said he's sorry and he just desperately wants to be a part of his kid's life. He said things have to move forward. We cannot just be at a standstill. We can't keep reliving the past. So he said that he's going to just let Royce heal and get herself together. And then when she's ready to come around, then he said he'll be open for discussion. But I kind of feel like Royce will be open if Lexi is not there. That's just what I feel. I feel like that's the problem. I think the problem is Lexi. And I honestly feel that if him and Lexi, Lexi was not together anymore. Y'all, y'all hear me? I'm trying to be nice. You know, cause I know I'm gonna call ass bride of Chucky. But if she wasn't in the picture, I think things between Rosie and CJ will be different. I don't know. Let's go to the comments. Tell me what y'all think of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>